Well, guys, look. This is a hermit crab. Hermit crab are freshwater mollusks that have the ability to reproduce rapidly in suitable environments. They can reproduce both sexually and asexually. Sexual reproduction occurs when male and female snails mate and lay eggs, while asexual reproduction occurs through body fragmentation or division. There is lobster! Hard shell lobsters have a thick, hard shell that provides excellent physical protection against predators. Their tough exoskeleton is difficult to penetrate. Self-defense mechanisms, lobsters are equipped with strong legs and sharp claws that can be used to fend off predator attacks. This is Ammonite. Ammonites were the predators of their time, feeding on most living marine creatures including mollusks, fish, and even other cephalopods. By analogy to modern cephalopods, their method of attack probably consisted of silently stalking their prey, then rapidly extending their tentacles to grasp the target. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus was an omnivore. He will happily eat anything he can eat, such as fish, sharks, cephalopods, birds, or even other members of the Mosasaurus reptile family. This creature uses most of its time to hunt prey. This is puffer fish. This puffer fish is usually found in saltwater and freshwater waters such as the Amazon River and the Mekong River. Puffer fish are characterized by a long and tapered body, round head, prominent lips, and a large stomach. These puffer fish do not have scales, but some have spines. There is an octopus. Octopuses walk by alternately moving their tentacles, using muscles and suction to pull themselves forward. They also utilize water to assist in their movement. Additionally, they rely on their unique hydrostatic system, pumping water into chambers within their bodies and then expelling it to propel themselves forward. This movement provides remarkable flexibility when navigating the ocean floor. This is Gurnard fish. The behavior of Gurnard fish is interesting. They often use their pectoral fins to feel around a seabed for food such as crabs, clams, and shrimp. Additionally, they can change the color of their bodies to adapt to their surroundings, such as becoming brighter when threatened or in bright environments. There is Spotted Eagle Ray. The Spotted Eagle Ray has a flat disc shape, with a blue or black color with white spots on top and a white lower body, and a distinctive deep snout like a duck's beak. The tail is longer than other rays and may have two to six venomous spines. The pectoral. Well, this is starfish. In several cities, including Beijing, Chinese street vendors sell sushi made from starfish. Some people like starfish but others don't. Some think that it tastes like river crab or sea urchin but there are also those who claim it tastes like nothing at all. This is blue whale. Blue whales, Balanoptera musculus, typically live socially in groups ranging from small to large. They are often found swimming alongside several other individuals, although they can also be encountered alone at times. Blue whale groups can consist of a few to several dozen individuals. This helps them in foraging for food and protecting themselves from predators. There is a jellyfish. All types of jellyfish have nematocysts, or stinging structures. However, the strength of their sting can vary greatly depending on the species. The most poisonous jellyfish in the world is a type of cubozoa which is capable of killing an adult human with one sting, 
in just a few minutes. They carry enough venom to kill more than 60 humans. This is a moray eel. Moray eels, like many other marine species, reproduce through a process called spawning, where the female releases her eggs and the male fertilizes them in the water. However, specific details about the mating behavior of moray eels, such as mating rituals or the roles of each gender, may vary depending on the species. This is dolphin. Some researchers have found that dolphins have the longest memories of any species, apart from humans. A study revealed that dolphins can recognize the voices of their close friends, even after being separated for 20 years. A number of scientists have concluded that this extraordinary memory can be linked to the evolution of social relationships among dolphins. This is mouth bass. Large mouth bass, also known as the Queensland grouper, is generally aggressive when it comes to hunting for food. They often hide in coral crevices or among rocks, waiting for their prey to appear. Giant groupers are also known as effective predators, utilizing their size and strength to catch fish and other marine creatures. This is a blue spotted ray. Blue spotted rays are distributed in tropical waters, at a depth of 30 meters, ranging from the Indian Ocean to South Africa, from the Arabian Peninsula to Southeast Asia, including Madagascar, Mauritius, Zanzibar, Sisalensa, Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Rarely found in the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. This is Lemon Shark. Usually the names of sharks in the open sea have the meaning, fierce or strong. However, the name lemon shark may sound a little strange to our ears because the name is far from being, fierce, from the shark family. The name of the lemon shark comes from the characteristics of its skin and fins. This is a Dacophodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is a crayfish. Coral shrimp have several defense mechanisms to evade predators, such as changing body color, the ability to hide in coral crevices or rocks, and the capability to swim swiftly to escape. Some species also have the ability to quickly wriggle free from a predator's grasp. This is Gulper Eel. Gulper Eels are oval in shape with long, whip-like tails. This eel can grow up to 100 centimeters in size. On the head there are very small eyes. Even though there is no sunlight in their habitat, the function of the eel's eyes is believed to be the result of evolution to detect dim light. There is a clownfish. Clownfish often reside near sea anemones. They are protected by the anemone's venomous tentacles, which do not affect them because they have a special mucus layer that shields them from the anemone's sting. If threatened, Clownfish can also jump into crevices in the coral reef to hide from predators. Clownfish often live in small groups, providing additional protection as predators tend to have difficulty singling out one target among many fish. This is Garfish. Alligator fish are large fish with flexible armor consisting of ganoid scales. These scales contain a thin layer of ganoin and a bony body with serrated edges that provide effective protection against predators. Throughout history, this fish has also been a game fish for sport fishing and can also be kept as an aquarium fish. This is squid. The behavior of squid can vary depending on the species, but generally, they are known to be intelligent and adaptable creatures. They are often active at night when hunting for food and can utilize their camouflage abilities to hide from predators. 
Some species are also known for their ability to communicate using patterns of light and body movements. Thank you for watching guys, see you next video.